Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Discord JJS Boss Series. This is the 12th episode. Well guys, I bet you guys, all of you guys gonna enjoy today's video because I'm just gonna teach you guys how you guys can make a help command. Uh, this help command is very, very simple, but at the same time, a little bit complicated. So just make sure to follow my steps so you won't have any issues. Um, we're just gonna use a different arc system for our um, help command. So um because it's gonna be a lot more different and it's gonna be a little bit different argument setup so just make sure to follow my steps that i'm gonna do and yeah if you want to check the documentation description you can guys go ahead and check it in the description um i'm sorry i didn't upload for a while i was uh working on this code developer portal i'm trying to get the verified developer if you want to check my check out my bot they can check the link in the description you can support me by that because i'm trying to get at least 75 servers um for applying for the verified developer on discord so just make sure to but if you if it's possible i'm just saying if you want to support me by that all right let's up further to the list to get into the video so technically as you all know we should add a command called hello.js i'm sorry help.js <laughs> so what is this gonna do it's just gonna uh, do some settings here we can use the accessibility to members and we can just put a description and aliases the cool thing about this is it's going to show you the, all the, the information that is going to be possible for each command. So as you all remember, when we go to the mute command, we had uh, some information about the command, like the name is mute, the description is this, and the usage is this, and accessibility is this, and the alias is this. Technically, you can uh, do help, and for the second argument, let me just show you an example. So let's just uh, open the bot, and I'm just going to show you guys an example of this, so you will have some... There we go. So if I do um, help, and if I name the command that I'm want, I want help with, let's just say hello.js, or you don't need to put JS after it. Help hello. I'm sorry, the bot prefix is not this. So I'm sorry, I made a mistake. There's a lot of prefixes. As you can see, it says hello command. It's going to show the information of the each command. So let's just do um, help ban. As you can see, it shows the information about the ban command. So what I mean by that is, uh, as you can see, we have the mute and we have the mute here. Uh, so we give the information in here and it's going to execute for the command for the second argument. So let's just say I, I did not put for the help command each one of these. So yeah, just to, just I'm just saying. So first thing first, we're just going to um, teach you guys this teach. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys uh, how to... Um, these commands as um let's just say you want to have a really public help command that shows all of the available commands uh on your bot and a information command that shows the information of a specific command as you can see we have these one here you can also set the customized one so it's gonna be so much descriptive just make sure to follow my steps i'm just gonna make this a little bigger so you won't have any issues there we go so first thing i did was i just uh model export or something like this uh we're not gonna use args, but we're gonna use a different arg. So first of all, you gotta uh, do let help arg equal to message dot content dot spoof, something like this. And the help args is going to be help arg slice number one. So just make sure to add these commands here. Make sure to call them exactly like this. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And we're just gonna say that if the help arg, uh, the second argument. Um, it's gonna be gaming it's gonna message that reply this area or we can make an embed from it it can it's just a customized one so if i put anything here uh, let's just do help gaming this is gonna be my second argument as you can see my second argument so this is gonna say that if the second argument was gaming it's gonna answer this here or you can make an embed yourself it's just an example so let's just test it out let's just do this there we go i'm I, sorry this is not the prefix again Guys, I literally get getting confused about each boss prefix because I'm creating my own bot and it's a public bot. It's got proxy if you're wondering. Uh, this is the information. This is a gaming information command, as you can see. So it's just an example if you want to set the custom arg for this one. So let's just say someone is using this command. Um, it's um, just putting help and that's it. This is going to show all of the information about the commands available on your bot. So when we do um, help, let's just do help here. As you can see, it shows that here's the available command to use and it's going to show the prefix and it's going to show the available commands. Um, so technically, I made an embed here and I just set the author and I just set the description of it. Um, basically, if you want to set the description, you got to do all yourself. So what I mean by that is just going to 
pick out all of your commands and then find them all uh, and then put it in here. Um, there's no possibility for executing all of the commands available. As you can see, we have the add field and I just put the prefix of the bot and adjusted the color and that's it. That's just for the help command without any arguments, just help and that's it. But let's just say a member just wanted to um, get the inf a specific information about a, a specific command. So if, if they want to get a specific information about the mute com or meme command or mute command or whatever command is available in here, um, they're just going to do something like this. Let's just do help uh, meme and it's going to store the information of that. So let's just say command description. There's no description for this command. Commands usage meme, uh, command permission member and the command aliases, nothing, no aliases. I just made something like this technically. Um, I made a let command which is going to... Um, Find the command it's gonna be the second argument of the help arcs which we define it here and uh what is this gonna do is just go ahead and uh, as you can see i have the commands that has the command so let's just say that if you have the commands of available in here it have the command on a second argument it's just gonna show this information right over here and uh it's, it's a little bit confusing i know but i'm just gonna explain it in a bit so technically we said that if if we set the command for the second argument so if the command was executed, uh, it's just going to show the information of it. So if this executed, as you can see, we can set it here. If the command on a second argument executed in the commands here, uh, it's just going to do command about command. Uh, as you can see, we set the command here as well. We're just going to say that if the command was here and it's just going to find the commands right over here. And as you can see, we have the var embed. It's just going to create a comp embed for you guys. Uh, it can put anything you want again. It's just your opinion. I said the author, an example. And uh, what is this going to do? It's just going to, um, when we set the command for the second argument, it's going to find the second argument name command. So as you can see, we have the add rule here. As you can see, it says name add rule. It's going to find this here. So what is this going to do? It's just going to find the name here and it's just going to uh, set that in the... So uh, yeah, it's just automatically going to find the name of the command that we set for the second argument. And it's going to set the thumbnail. I don't really... Why don't set the thumbnail actually? Let me just remove this. It's just gonna kind of lose this. There we go. So we can set the description. Um, I actually said this is a description. You can add more specific things. You can use add fields. If you want to know how you can, guys, um, make an embed, I will put a link um, on top right right now. If you check it out, it's gonna be a suggestion. You can click on it and learn how we can make an embed. And it's it's just your opinion. It's just customized. And I just said the commands description is going to read the description of the command. Um, these available command for the second argument. And if there was no description, it's going to say there is no description available for this command. And it's going to be a command usage. Uh, as you remember, we said like, let me just show you an example. Let's just go to meme.js. Um, there we go. Meme.js. As you can see, we set the description nothing. We don't care. As you can see, we have the usage meme. I'm like this. So it's going to show the usage in here, as you can see. And it's gonna search to the permission of it because of the permission of it in here. But something very important: it's not gonna actually add a permission to the command. Technically, what I mean by that is it's just gonna um, show the permission for other people. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I have the command aliases as well. It's just gonna show the aliases of the command. If there was no aliases, uh, it's just gonna say no aliases. If it doesn't work, it's fine. It's not gonna show anything. So it's pretty much fine, I guess. And again, set the color for it. And guess what? We're done. And it's gonna message that channel the sand embed. That's technically it. Uh, literally, if you just check it out right now, if you do help um, meme or the help uh, unmute or whatever you wanna do, it's gonna show the information of that command, a specific command. And if you do help hello or hell hi or whatever you command have you, let's just say I don't have a command. Let's just do this. There we go. There is nothing gonna show up because we don't have any command called like that. And if you do help gaming help uh gaming it's gonna show the gaming embed or gaming uh command that you put for here so that's technically we played a lot with the args actually so that's basically i hope you guys understand it if you didn't understand it yet it's fine just join to our discord server or you can also comment down below just comment down below about your questions i literally answer it as soon as possible like if you just comment i'm probably gonna answer it in 15 minutes because i'm trying my best to answer the comments as fast as possible i know you guys not patience at comments or something like that. I'm just trying my best to answer all of them. And thank you guys again for 600 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And keep it up and keep the support. And please, I will try to add my button to a service because I'm trying to get a verified developer on Discord. And I may have got a stream about that in this feature. I'm not sure.
And thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace out and have a good day.